Salutations! I'm the Ventral Vatum, one of the leads of VKMT, and welcome to the first installment of The Library, a series of Halo modding tutorial videos that will help get you started to mod Halo, the Master Chief Collection. This series will go over just about everything there is to know about making mods for this game, from tagging, mission design, model and texture work, sound editing, animation, and much more. This first episode will serve as the introductory course to the world of Halo mods. I'll be briefly introducing you to the Halo editing kit, as well as other supplementary material that you'll need to properly get started. For starters, we'll need the Halo editing kit itself. This is a collection of software for the sole purpose of modding Halo games. Each Halo game, from Halo Combat Evolved to Halo 2 Anniversary's multiplayer, has their own rendition of the Halo editing kit. Simply search up Halo Mod Tools on Steam and you'll find just about every version of the editing kit ready to download. While it's not a part of the editing kit, you'll also want to ensure that you have the Halo MCC Mod Uploader downloaded as well. This will be your go-to program to upload your modding projects onto Steam Workshop. Sean T has already made a brief tutorial on how to use this program, so make sure to check it out. One more thing I recommend you grabbing is Osuyos. This is an app that makes utilizing the programs included in the editing kit much more accessible. So, what comes with the Halo editing kit? There are four notable applications that make up this toolset. First is Gorilla, a tag editor. For those who are unaware, a tag is akin to a spreadsheet that contains a game asset's information. Tags usually reference other tags, creating whole webs of data that make up any given asset in the game. For example, Halo 3's Assault Rifle has a weapon tag, and that weapon tag consists of numerical values that control its rate of fire, ammunition count, and much more. The weapon tag points to other tags, such as the model tag that allows the Assault Rifle's 3D model to appear in the game world. Another example of a tag that is connected to the Assault Rifle is the weapon's projectile tag, allowing the weapon to fire its iconic bullets. All of these values and tag references can be changed to your liking, and in future installments, we'll go more in depth on what's possible in Gorilla. One thing to note is that for Halo Reach, Halo 4, and Halo 2 Anniversary, they contain an upgraded rendition of Gorilla called Foundation, which we'll go over in the future as well. Also, if and only if you're enjoying the content of this course, it mean the world to us if you leave a like and subscribe to our channel. We have plenty more lessons for the library planned, and it would definitely motivate us to see you all genuinely interested in the content. The second program is Sapien. This is a scenario editor. The scenario in modding lingo is essentially the central gameplay hub of a Halo map. It represents everything that makes a level a Halo level. Objects such as weapons, vehicles, scenery, and more can be placed in a given scenario. This is also where you control how character AI play a role in your level. Our third program is simply called Tool. This is a command line that serves to compile data. It can compile data into tags. For example, remember the assault rifle weapon model that I mentioned earlier? The model itself had to come from somewhere. The 3D model would have been made in a 3D modeling program such as Blender and then exported as a file type that is compatible with Tool to then be processed into a model tag. Tool can also compile tags into the map files that you play. Map files in general, or caches as they're sometimes referred to as, are a collection of tags that have been compiled by Tool, which can then be played in the Master Chief Collection. Our last program is actually one that is exclusive to the Master Chief Collection's rendition of the editing kit. Tag Test. This is a standalone debug build of a given Halo game that is used to test your mods before the tags associated with them are compiled by Tool. This is a great way to find bugs and oversights within your mod, as well as to find things that you may want to change before you release it to the public. And that's your introductory lesson to the world of Halo modding. Stay tuned for the next installment of the library as we delve into the inner workings of this franchise. This is the Ventral Vatum, and I'll see you on the great journey.